Welcome to another video on Power BI interview questions. Hope you're watching this series from beginning. The next question which you may be asked is what are the four types of relationship that can be created between tables in Power BI model? So in Power BI model means when we go ahead and do the model view and when we want to create a relationship, there are four kinds of relationship which we can create. What are those? So one is one to one. It's typically created between two tables having exact same number of rows as the other table. This type of relationship occurs when every row in one table corresponds to exactly one row in another table. So basically let's say if I have item table, I have duplicate of item table, each item ID corresponds to another one item ID in another table and that's the kind of scenario. Now here I've taken a duplicate example but there could be item table and item attribute table which might have a one to one relationship. A one to many, this is one of the most common type of relationship when one row of the table is associated with multiple row of another table. Typical this kind of relationship happen between dimension and fact. Dimension contains the values of dimension IDs like item ID or geography ID and those keep on repeating on the fact tables which has multiple of such value. Next is many to one here the sales table is the first table having multiple values of item and item table is the second table having only one value for each item ID. So this join is many to one. Then comes many to many in this type of relationship occurs when multiple rows of one table associated with multiple rows of another table. So in this case, there is no uniqueness on both the sides. So item ID is repeating in the sales table and item ID is also repeating in the purchase table. So what we end up doing is creating a many to many relationship with item ID. There are few other cases where we do create many to many relationship. Ideally, we don't prefer such kind of relationship, but like when we do RLS, we do create a many to many kind of a relationship. Now let me jump out of the Power BI file and I have created example to showcase you all these four kind of relationship. Let me go to the model view and here in the model view if uh, you're watching the videos uh, you might have noticed that I'm using this common model and in this particular model I have most of the relationship which are one to many dimension to fact. What happens on the dimension type like in geography table the city ID never have a duplicate it's only repeated once so one city ID is would appear one so city ID one is once city ID two is only once but in the is table the city ID do repeat and uh, that's where it, the relationship is one to many so if you want to have a look at the data I, I go and show it to you the geography table as you can see the city IDs are not repeating they are unique and if I go to the sales table you will see if I sort it all city ID city IDs are repeating so this is what it means that in one side it is repeating and second side is non-repeating now what happens in one to one relationship so what I've done is I have this item table and I've created an item new which is basically having also all the items ID only as one. So if I join these two table it will create a one to one relationship. See it's one to one relationship because both the side item IDs are unique. So item IDs are not repeating. One item ID appears only once in both the tables and that's where I have one to one. We have understood one to one. We have understood one to many and many to one is just a reverse. So many to one is basically the relationship from the sales table side to the date table side so here if the sales is first then it is many to one if it is geography or the the table which is on the one side is on the top and it is one to many so it's just a direction now let's look at an example of many to many so let me call it as go seven or here let me again add a q50 seven one i'm renaming the new one here i'm going to bring in sales table and i already created a item table which is having duplicate entry now when i join item id of item many with the item id of sales what you will see is creating many to many relationship the reason for that is that the item is id is not unique in both the tables so let me connect it to this so now this is going to show us a many to many relationship now this could be inactive because may, this item table might be relating with some other table I made it active. There is no relationship um, issue. So I am able to make it active. Sometime when it is not active, you just click on the relationship and make it active. Sometime if there are multiple path or there's a loop which is getting created and going to give you an error. So those you can remove. Now, I just wanted to show you item many table to you so that you are sure why it is creating many to many. So here if I sort an item, so item ID is repeating more than once in item many table and that is why it is creating many to many relationship. Let's also have a look at the sales table and here also the item IDs are repeating that's why we have many to many relationship. So these are the four kinds of join. Usual preference from dimension to fact is one to many and from fact to dimension is many to one. But there are cases when we use one to one or many to many relationship and we use one to one or many to many relationship depending on the use case. We do create bridge tables to avoid many to many relationship in many cases. To so go ahead and learn more about these kind of relationship. I have two blogs where I have these hundred questions for which I'm creating the videos now. You can read those blogs. 
Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Your curiosity and quest for the knowledge are what's inspiring this series. If you have any question or topics you would like me to explore in this series, please let me know in the comments below. Your support is truly means the world to us. It's the reason we create and share these videos. If you have enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please consider liking, sharing and commenting. It helps us immensely. Until next time, keep learning and stay connected. Thank you.